listening to the Daily Meditation Podcast, Episode 4. Welcome back to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and today I'm going to guide you through a meditation where you put together all the different things that you have been learning this week. This first week of this podcast is all about laying the foundation of your meditation ritual. So you're receiving a little more instruction than you normally would when you listen to the daily meditation podcast. Usually I'll leave a full guided meditation, but during this first week, it's really important for you to lay a foundation that's solid so that when you sit down to meditate, you won't wonder what to do and you'll have all the little details figured out so that you can just focus on having more peace, energy, and clarity. Well, in this podcast, you're also going to learn how to discover the best time for you to sit down and meditate. Finding the best time for you to meditate is really one of the keys for you to maintaining your meditation ritual. And I say this because consistency is so essential in maintaining your meditation ritual and in getting the results that you want. So it's very important to set up the best time for you to meditate. When you think of a time to meditate, think about your day. I'll be guiding you through a meditation where you go through your day and really visualize and think about what time will be the best time for you to sit down and do this great, great ritual for yourself. There's really not many things that you can do for yourself with such lasting and powerful benefits as meditation. Of course, you can have a great diet and exercise and surround yourself with wonderful, loving people and all of those things, but meditation is a cornerstone type of ritual that sets the tone for the whole rest of your life. So really consider how you're going to make a meditation ritual happen for you. I have worked with so many people over the past two decades, and I just see a lot of people give up their meditation rituals because they really haven't considered simple things that you wouldn't expect would be so important, but these are truly very important keys to you maintaining your meditation ritual. Some times to meditate, I would say the most popular time to meditate is definitely the morning. It's when you wake up and you don't have any distractions quite yet in your day and you can focus and set the tone for your day. This may be the best time for you. For many years, that was not the best time for me. When I had young children, I found it really difficult because they usually would come and wake me up or I had been up a lot at night and I was exhausted. And so I found that in the mornings, I felt rushed. But nowadays, as my children are older, I find that morning is the best time for me. So. Another time that meditation could work for you is in the afternoon, such as during your lunch hour break or any time that you're taking a pause and having a break throughout your day. That's a good time to make meditation happen for you. You might also consider evening to make meditation happen for you. Evening is when your body naturally slows down and you kind of feel a little bit hushed and more quiet as you prepare to go to bed at night. But I know that for a lot of people, meditating at night just has them falling asleep during their meditation ritual. (laughs) So just test what works best for you. And be honest with yourself. If you really want to be an evening meditator, but it just doesn't work for you, Acknowledge that and just realize that you can make this happen during another time of your day. For myself, I meditate in the morning. So the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I actually exercise 
and then I sit down and write in a journal and then I meditate and sometimes I'll write a little bit more in a journal after I meditate but I write in a journal because it helps me focus my mind and calm my mind and transition after I meditate and you may want to do a few yoga postures or poses or some kind of fitness even walking or any kind of exercise before you meditate because what it does is it gets all your energy out so that when you sit down to meditate you don't feel as restless in fact did you know that yoga was actually designed to help you meditate better a lot of people don't realize that but the postures in yoga were helped to transition you and to focus your mind so that when you sat down to meditate, your body would be relaxed and your mind would be more focused. So you can think of meditation as a way to... So you can think of doing some kind of fitness. Yoga is fantastic. It's probably the best thing you can do before you meditate. But any kind of fitness, especially walking, is a great way for you to transition from your busy day to sitting down to meditate. It's pretty hard to just pull out of your busy day and plop down and you're able to meditate. That's pretty difficult to do. That's why a lot of people use meditation techniques, which I share with you every day in the daily meditation podcast so that you have a lot of different techniques you can use to help ease the transition from your busy day and stress and overwhelm and anything else you might be experiencing to the peace and calm of meditation so try to make meditation happen during the best time for you try to make it happen the same time every single day Think of it as your spiritual hygiene, just as you would brush your teeth before you wake up in the morning and go to bed at night. And you might try to do some kind of physical exercise before you meditate. I know that for myself, it really helps me meditate so much better if I do something physical before I meditate. So with that, I'd like to guide you through a meditation to put together some of the different techniques that you've learned in laying the foundation for your meditation ritual this week. We still have a little bit more to learn, but I want you to put together some of the things you've learned. So now you have a personalized meditation area. Make sure that it's someplace you really enjoy meditating. And you may have to experiment a little bit too, because you might find that the place you chose just isn't working for you, or maybe it's too drafty, or maybe you keep getting interrupted there, or maybe you just don't feel good meditating there. You may have to experiment a little bit. Be flexible and allow yourself plenty of time to adjust to this new ritual. It's something you're gonna be doing, hopefully, for the rest of your life, for your lifetime. You certainly can do it every single day for the rest of your life. So make sure that it's really going to work out for you and allow yourself to adjust and make changes. And you also have a way to make your body comfortable. I hope you're sitting on your pillows and that you are nice and relaxed, your spine is straight, and that you're starting to really settle yourself down as you get ready to meditate. Now let's do the instant ohm breath that you learned yesterday in episode three. If you haven't listened to episode three, you might want to head over there because I share with you two very important breathing techniques that will help you every time you meditate. And you can even, even use these breath techniques throughout your day, whether you're meditating or not. That's the beauty of so many of these meditation techniques. You can bring these techniques into your everyday life. They're not reserved just for your time sitting down meditating. So let's go ahead and start breathing with your belly. So put your hand on your belly and do the belly breath that we did yesterday in episode three. So when you inhale and exhale through your nose, inhale and feel your abdomen rise up and exhale and feel it go back down. 
So you're not breathing shallowly in your chest, you're breathing all the way through your abdomen. You're oxygenating your entire body. Your body will thank you for it and so will your nervous system. So inhale and exhale a few more times, really breathing through your belly. This alone helps you to feel calm right away. And now let's move to the instant OM breath. I'll guide you through a few rounds of it and then I'll let you do it on your own for a while. You're going to inhale and exhale through your nose to the count of five. And you're going to inhale to the count of five, hold your breath to the count of five, and then exhale to the count of five. And you're gonna do this five times. And again, I encourage you to listen to episode three where I go into detail about how to do the instant ohm breath and how many benefits it has for you. So you might want to head over there and listen to that. But if not, you can certainly join us here as uh, you do it together with me in this meditation. So go ahead and your spine is straight, your shoulders are relaxed. Your face is soft, your eyes are closed gently. You're breathing through your belly. Now inhale to the count of five and I'll count for you. One, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. All right, how do you feel? Feel the peace and calm wash over you. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Remember, you can always change the count to adjust to how you best feel when you do this breathing technique. So you might want to hold it to the count of four if it's hard for you to hold it to the count of five. Or you might want to hold it to the count of six or eight. If you feel like you can hold your breath a little longer comfortably, make sure as always not to strain yourself. Now I want you to visualize your meditation space in your mind, and you are likely sitting there right now. Visualize yourself sitting there. And I want you to think about your day. So imagine waking up in the morning. Imagine how you feel. Imagine what you normally do. Could this be a time to make meditation happen for you? How would it feel to start your day when the rest of the world is sleeping, it's quiet, and you wake up early and meditate? Would you be too groggy 
or would you feel fresh? Think about morning as a time to meditate. And move throughout your day, a typical day for you. Maybe you go to work, or maybe you stay home, maybe you work from the home. Maybe you care for your children. Think about when you could make meditation happen during the day for you. Could that be at lunch on your break? You have a cup of tea and have your lunch and slow down and then maybe break away from friends you might lunch with and go someplace quiet, maybe even a park. Or maybe even you could go into your car. Maybe there's a quiet place in your home that you feel drawn to throughout the day where you'd like to meditate. Think of that place Body's relaxed, you're breathing through your belly, feeling your stomach rise, and go back down as you inhale and exhale. Your shoulders are relaxed. Now think of yourself moving through your day and getting ready to go to sleep as you wind down your day. Is there a time? that might work for you. Some time that would be consistent every evening where you wouldn't be interrupted and you could make meditation happen for you. In your mind, visualize yourself getting ready for bed. Could you light a candle and put some music on? and have a beautiful 10 to 15 minute meditation. Would you sleep so much better if you did this? Maybe it's just what you've been needing. Or maybe you feel you'd be too tired in the evening to meditate. Or you might feel that you could meditate a little bit in the morning, a little in the afternoon, and a little in the evening. Think of ways that you could make meditation happen for you. I'm going to leave you with this thought today. Tomorrow, you'll be learning even more ways to lay the foundation of your meditation ritual. Today, I'd like you to sit in your meditation space and I'd like you to make yourself comfortable on the pillows. Continue to personalize your meditation space. Do the instant own breath and make sure you're breathing through your belly. And I'd like you to visualize and imagine and come up with a time that will be a great time for you to make meditation happen. I know you can do this. I've enjoyed spending this time with you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And as always, remember, you are so worth slowing down for. I invite you to a free 100-day meditation quest where every week you'll receive a message from me with a full week's worth of meditations that you can explore at your leisure. And these are all based on a theme that will give you more peace, energy, and clarity. So if now is your time, go ahead and click on the Start My Quest button and you can get started immediately. A hundred days from now, you'll be so glad you did this for yourself.